Hi. There is a need for recreation testing whenever the code is changed and we need to determine whether the modified code will affect other parts of the software application. Moreover, recreation testing is needed when a new feature is added to the software application. In order to do the recreation testing process, we need to first debug the code to identify the bugs. Once the bugs are identified, required changes are made to fix them. And then recreation testing is done by selecting relevant test cases from the test suite that covers both modified and affected parts of the code. Recreation testing can be executed, of course, both manually or automatically. Of course, as QA test eng engineers, we primarily use special techniques and methods to perform recreation tests based on some parameters. There are several approaches to recreation testing, but here I am going to mention only three of them which are the most widely used te techniques. The first approach is retesting everything. This approach implies that all the tests of the system should be re-executed, I mean retested. While it is the, of course, safest way to ensure the project is bug-free with high quality, but it takes a lot of time and commitment to run a full suite of tests. That's why the retesting everything is rarely used among testers and in the case where our team decides to go with it, of course, the sessions will most likely be automated instead of doing it manually because retesting everything manually seems almost impossible if we have so many test cases. And the second approach is regression test selection. By selecting a subset of existing test cases, as a QA tester, I can cut operating costs tremendously compared to retesting the entire system, of course. There are several practices we, as the testers, used to select a case of recreation test sessions. To start with, we can only test a suite that yields coverage to the modified uh, section of the original program. Another popular approach is a safe technique where I work with several cases that, are, that expose one or multiple false, faults in the modified program. And thirdly, the third approach is the prior, prior authorization of test cases. This approach allows me as an estate to focus on testing the most frequently used functionalities and also test cases that have a, a crucial business impact while temporarily putting all the secondary features aside. By prior, prioritizing test cases, we will cut the size of the testing suit tremendously and have more time to thoroughly assess the performance of the crucial parts of the system. I think that's all about recreation testing. Thank you so much.